thing that's near and dear is old and decayed. Emergency has gone, apathy rolling on. Time to take a stand, a redneck wonderland.
Well, that's nice. Welcome everybody to the House of Fun. Or something like that, Tassie folk. Thank you for those of you that have been waiting for some time for Midnight Oil to come back into your lives. We appreciate your fidelity and loyalty. More on display than in some other parts of the country. And let us find some songs that maybe you listened to some time ago. <laughs>
So we thought we might seg the last line of that song, which is, it's never too late, to the introduction for this song, which is a way of congratulating some Australian activists, particularly some people in Melbourne who were part of the international campaign against nuclear weapons and won the Nobel Peace Prize this year. How good is that? Oh, yeah. Actually, while we're thanking people, uh, Hobart and Tassieites in general, do you want to put your hands together big time for our wonderful guests who are playing with us tonight, the Jezebels? They're out the back there, so they can't hear you on the shoe. Jezzes! Anyway, there is, uh, there's one way of getting around this nuclear weapon scourge, which as some of you would know has been uh, a preoccupation of ours for many, many years, and that is to have a new tree, uh, nuclear weapons manufacture use treaty, banning it in other words, big ban, like the landmines ban treaty. And the ICANN people managed to get that treaty up in the United Nations. Many, many, many countries have already signed it or indicated that they will, with the exception of Miss Bishop and Mr. Turnbull. Oh God, so tedious, so tedious, and so ordinary and so ugly. We won't go there, what we will do is celebrate those great accomplishments by our mates in Melbourne by playing you a song called Hercules.
let's fuck I am ready, let's fuck Shed my skin. I just wanna shed my skin. I don't wanna sell my soul to him. Mechanized city bus and farmers die. They cry. months ago, uh, we headed out to different parts of the world and we've been to Trumpistan a couple of times and uh, encouraged the good people there to reclaim the control of their country from the rather nasty egomaniac who seems to have slipped in by surprise. And uh, we've had a bunch of people that have been uh, following us either online or physically and some of them have probably travelled interstate and even uh, from overseas to see the band play, and we want to thank them very much and wish them safe travel for the rest of their journey. No, seriously, it's been a real blowout. We just, uh, you never know, we went off to do other things, as you know very well, uh, in different parts of uh, our lives, albeit politics or music, and to come back and to find that an audience is there that wants to connect with you again has been uh, a very humbling and uh, a very welcome experience for us, so we want to say thank you to everybody. And I guess it's fair to say that we feel pretty strongly, as we always have, and play strongly about these things that are important to us. And we're going to pull one out now for the people that have been travelling with us, and some of those amongst us here tonight in Hobart who have been around and know that they will not stand in line.
Uh, cause we're... We've had, we've had this conceit, we've had a conceit going, a little bit of conceit going on the way through. Uh, one of them is when Rob comes up the front, he brings a, the small kid up, it's called a cocktail kid, but um, not that we're like a cocktail band or anything, but we've got this conceit about being on a cruise ship. Uh, but, <laughs> but this cruise ship actually morphs into a sailing ship, which I guess is pretty appropriate really when you think about Tassie and Hobart and the oceans and everything. And of course it's solar powered, instead of being powered by uh, an internal combustion engine of any kind. It's not spewing pollution into the atmosphere at all. And it's cleaning up stuff as it heads around. The, actually, let's just say it comes, uh, maybe it's the Recherche Bay, or I think it's called, and then it comes around here and flicks its way up the east coast and then sort of heads up across towards Hawaii and it ends up in the States. And eventually it makes its way to the Mediterranean. In fact, anywhere where there's a, a sea coast, and we play these songs, which are sort of songs about that from a long time ago, or from now, as it were. This one is a, a different kind of voyage and a different kind of journey taken by First Nation peoples along the song lines and the dreaming paths of this great country. Two, one, three, four.
Oh, 
One more day of eating and sleeping lots of times and I've been to Tassie in other uh, roles many times as well and it's a, it's a really interesting place that you live in some of you are second and third generation some of you possibly even were here at the beginning when the place got 
taken over by the British and they treated the First Nation people very badly. Uh, some of you may just come down on the sea change and the tree change. Well, it doesn't matter. One thing, of course, that you know very well once you've done a winter here is that the joint gets a tad chilly in those months in winter. But of course, <laughs> very good. But there's a reason for that. Uh, you don't need me to tell you, not even the younger ones amongst you. And uh, the Antarctic Territory is a very important part of Australia and Australian history. Uh, and actually, one of the things that worried me a great deal when I was in government was the fact that uh, other countries that don't have a legitimate claim on that area, countries like China, for example, are starting to spend a lot of time and money down there. Anyway, we want to dedicate this particular song not only to the idea of it being actually a place which Australians and Australian governments were very important in protecting from mineral development and exploitation. Uh, so it is a great wilderness, one of the last great global wildernesses we have, but also the connections that it has to the people in this town.
And I thank God for that But there's needles in the sand Ozone in a eucalypt And on the steps tonight There's a pushing and a shoving On the throne tonight I perceive Lost islands of hope The rhythm I perceive Who will discover you
custom don't speak your tongue white man can't talk everyone <laughs> White man listen to the songs we sing White man can't talk everything
for those people right around Australia who have decided that one giant world's largest coal mine in the middle of Queensland is not good for the Great Barrier Reef, not good for the jobs of the people in the tourism industry, and not good for a warming climate that we have to get under control right now. No mine! Now 
I thank you very much, everybody. No, really, it means a great deal to us, and uh, it's fantastic to see you all out here tonight. Many, many, many moons ago, actually, someone wrote an article about this which was very pretentious. I won't mention their name, I won't shame them in this room tonight. Uh, but many, 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 many moons ago, many sunshines, many foggy days ago, uh, we played a lot of pubs, and one of the reasons, actually, that I wanted to, everyone to put their hands together for the Jezebels tonight is that we've had some fantastic guests out on stage with us as we've been doing the Great Circle Tour. And uh, people probably don't remember, or some, some of those who are sort of closer in vintage to uh, this old tree might remember, but when you first start playing original music in Australia, uh, people tend to look away. Uh, they, you know, we, we've got a bit of the sheep, uh, you know, whatever sort of about us. Uh, and yet it's so important that we support our local writers, our sculptors, our potters, our poets, our dancers, and our musicians. And you're pretty lucky because you've got that joint up the road, um, which you can get in for Nick's for. <laughs> it's not exactly your taxpayer's money coming back, but never mind, it's pretty good. But generally speaking, when you go out and uh, you play stuff to people, they don't always listen straight away. So it's very important to support your local bands wherever they may be, wherever they're playing, and online as well. But also, this reminds us of when we uh, travelled here and we played a few scudgy pubs. And we ended up in a really scudgy one in Bernie. Oh, man. <laughs> and this was really in the bad old days when uh, you know, the mill was really spewing it up there and the colour of the water was indescribable. Now, we've been back since then because I want to make it very clear, especially to the woodchuck journos, that we actually really like Bernie and the people a great deal. And we love what they've done to their town uh, and the fact that they've showed uh, great resourcefulness and great pride in keeping that town going and moving on to other things. But in any event, that song is dedicated not only to the bands that play in the scudgy pubs in Tassie, but to Bernie. Play their game, stop 
what a dream Write their contract in the sand You'd be great for life
western desert lives and breathes in 45 degrees. Sun has come to save us fair, to pay the rent, pay our share. Give it back. We've signed special limited edition posters for the Derwent Entertainment Centre. If you've got a bit of money left in your card or a little bit of cash left in the bottom of your shoe, and we dedicate and commit that money to conservation and environment organisations working to look after oceans and coral reefs in your part of the world. See you later, folks.
Tony Abbott, who just about destroyed the political culture of this country, our environment, political systems, and doing something about climate change. We're a bit buggered here. No, we're not really. So listen, thank you so much for coming down. It's been a mighty night, and uh, one that we've been looking forward to for quite some time. And we'll see you on your way, and have a good time out there, please, my dear friends. Of the fathers, a 
Never in-